So we're trying to get a handle on what it means to prove closure. Once we get a handle on it, it's pretty easy to prove it, but you have to know how to symbolize it, okay? And you have to really understand closure, and you have to prove a variety of, of that a variety of subsets or subspaces in different contexts, okay? So, uh, to prove closure, now you, you told me, you know, that's closed under scale, addition and scaling multiplication. You know that, okay? Maybe didn't answer as quickly as you would have if you were about to have a test, but you know that, okay? And you want to get quicker at that, but that's going to happen as you do more problems. Uh, and the problems get easier to do as you do more of them. So you, you, you know, first few are always problematic. Okay, you got to have two solutions to prove that they're still in the set, right? Okay, now when I ask, well, okay, what's two solutions? You wanted to give me two different equations up here. No, you got one equation, right? Okay, well, here's a specific example of an equation. Let's see what two solutions of this equation would be. Well, you gave me one, and then when I asked, you didn't have any trouble giving me another. I think you said x was six, six y was four. four, so you're going to have 12 and 12, so z would have to be 2, right? Mm -hmm. So I hope that's right. Okay? Okay, so what does it mean if this is closed? If we know that the set is closed, if we've proven this, what can we then conclude? And then if you add the two solutions together, you still get a solution. Yeah, if you add two solutions, you get a solution. Very good. Well, let's check it out. If I add this solution to this solution, is it still a solution? Well, we get you know, 6 plus 3, we add this to this, right? 4 plus 2, 2 plus 1 equals 9, 6, 3. Is that a solution? Well, 9 times 2 is 18, and 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 times 12 is 36. 18 and 18 minus 36 is 0. Okay? Now, does that prove it's going to be true for all solutions? Every pair of solutions is going to give you a solution. You might believe it, but it's not a proof unless you prove it. Okay? Well, the easiest way to prove it is to prove that it's always true for any equation of this form. And it doesn't matter what your equation is, it's always going to be true for that equation, right? Okay? So we have to prove closure. And we have to have two solutions to this equation. We can't do numbers because we don't know what A, B, and C are, right? And we could do specific solutions, okay? You know, let's equal zero. Then Y is equal to negative A over B times X, right? And, you know, let X be one, Y be one, whatever, okay? Make sense? Okay, so how do we prove closure, though, in general? Well, we say this. Twins. Salute. Lose track of my word in the middle of it. 